Oscar buzz for Batman and Robin too, and there I was in a nippled bat suit. I know. George didn't I'm work out for me. Can you give me your worst nightmare? Worst travel nightmare? Hmm. I can't really think of a. Re I've actually been very lucky, but now that saying that, my next trip will be hell. Yes, sure. Well, it was important to. to uh, readdress the way they were making the film, which was, it can't just be a flat-out comedy, you have to actually address, you know, what people are going through, and I, it, that seemed to be the smart way to do it. Jason was very smart in trying to bring in real people and talk to them, and I thought that was a great way to do it. It's, uh, my mother and then this random woman that just came up. <laughs> Hey man, how are you? Are you George, good? what is when you take a, a step back and you think about it all these years? What, what, is, what is basically the secret of longevity? What do you think? Um, not dying. <laughs> that is the secret of longevity. I've learned. Well, I'm learning now. Um, and long, not dying, and uh, I think drinking helps too. I found always, always helps. Keeps you young. Hey, George, how, how are you? Kelly, nice to meet you. Did you hey. relate to your character in any way? In nope. This film at all? Same height. <laughs> same That's hair. About it. Yeah, pretty much the same hair. I've got a new toupee done for the. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, pretty much. Uh, no, I thought it was a really great character, a great part. And, you know, it's Jason Reitman, so how wrong could you go? Absolutely. May I feel your hair, George? Yes, you can. <laughs> That's not, my, that's not my question, though. All right, so I gotta know, you, go, you fly around firing people in this movie. Yes. Considering, you probably filmed this a couple of years ago, or a year, at least ago. Uh, about nine months ago, yeah. Oh, Quick. well then the economy was already in the trap. Yeah, we were already in trouble. How do you feel about the movie coming out, firing people, the unemployment rates at its all-time high right now? Or? Yeah, it's a tricky thing, you know. You think about, it's, it's very rare that films come out sort of in the middle of... Um, when they're topical, because films are usually a couple years behind the... Excuse the, me. The, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Hi, brother. How are you? Great. Jesus Christ. God, you look cool. It's exactly the same. Danny, by the way, just yeah. shot me in the back as he walked by. He's the ultimate villain. Danny, true. Oh, fantastic. You were saying. Um, I, it was just important to do it correctly now, because it was important to talk about, um, you know, uh, and deal with the idea that people are getting laid off left and right. And, uh, and we thought uh, it doesn't make it a comedy anymore. Didn't quite give me a word season buzz. Really, you think? <laughs> uh, Pinpoint the exact you, moment for us. I think in Batman and Robin, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You're trying to bring that one out? Awesome. By the way, there was a lot of buzz about uh, Batman and Robin. Oscar buzz. What Oscar were you going to be up for? Yeah, uh, there was the best cod piece award. <laughs> and then they took that out, and then I, I had no shot. Pinpoint the exact moment for us when you know that a film is going to be a great film as opposed to a not so great film. Um, right about 10 years after it comes out. Oh, really? Yeah. So you won't know this till 2019? Yeah, exactly. It takes a while. Because, you know, there are films that are really very popular for a moment and then they aren't necessarily, they don't necessarily work 10 years later. Okay. And then there are films that end up working much better. You remember, nobody went to see The Big Lebowski when it first came out. Right, right, exactly. That's interesting.